Hello and welcome to the We've Got Fabinho Show, episode 8. We are live on Sunday, the 22nd of April. Um, this is coming to you live on Twitch. Um, it will be moved over to SoundCloud, iTunes and YouTube later on this evening. Or maybe tomorrow, depending on if I can be bothered sorting it all out. Um, but yeah, this week's guest, he should have been on the guy that should have been here last week. Um, but he decided to die and be resurrect a couple of weeks after... <laughs> <laughs> Easter. So it's this David Fish. What you got? What's going on, mate? What's up, man? What's up? Yeah, sound. Uh, it's nice for you to be here this week. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, not bad. I mean, I, I did, oh, dude, I was gutted last week, man. I woke up, my phone. I had like fifteen hundred WhatsApp messages from you, and Discord messages from you, Twitter <laughs> messages from you, and a missed call from you. I didn't even know you had a number. I'm like, what's yeah. that? It's got to be done, mate. I, I just wanted to make sure that, like, one, you wasn't dead. Because I ended up texting Pirate saying, listen, have you spoke to Dave today? I don't know what's going on. I don't know if he's, like, comatosed OD'd on whatever it is on your desk. Or you just played Fortnite for 48 hours and you had fucking heart failure or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. I, I thought, do you know what it was? I thought, ah, they're only happy with tablets. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> yeah, and you end up, like, nearly fucking... Waking up 24 hours later. Uh, looking at the chat, we've got a few people in already. Got any pollen? What's going on? He's calling my Bibcon genius. Well, you know, it's come from me, so he's going to be genius. Uh, should all be saying the right Bono, taking the piss out of my glasses. Nice one, mate. Ian, what's <laughs> going on, mate? Uh, Tiger, uh, nice that he could be arsed this week. I fully agree. Uh, wow. David's volume up a little bit. Uh, it's as loud as it can go. I can turn my mic levels out. Give me two seconds. Uh, on my screen, it's as loud as his levels can go, so it's that's nothing I can help, I'm afraid. Vern saying champions 20, but you're not fucking champions this year, are you? You red cunt. Uh, but but did, to slight disclaimer, yeah, this is obviously my show, and I, I kind of swear a lot. I say the C word, so if this is going to hurt your ears, I would highly advise probably not sticking around, if I'm being honest. Um, J-Dubs is saying it's a lot better now, so yeah. It's just one of them things that I can only control my side and what the computer outputs. Um, I've turned my, uh, I've turned my you're mic. You're actually well louder up in my ear now, anyway. Uh, see no, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Right. Uh, I can, I can see the levels, and when it hits the red, I'm happy with that. It's when it exceeds and the full bar goes red. That's when yeah, it goes yeah. a little, little folks. <laughs> you red cunt, best streamer quote ever. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> it's just what I do. Um, I got a fucking big fuck off stain on my t-shirt from my tea. I didn't even realise that. What did you have? Oh, Sunday dinner, innit? <laughs> Fucking Sunday dinner is gravy or some shit. <laughs> or a bit of chicken, I don't know. Grease. Fuck it. Uh, so, yeah, I haven't. It's one of them this week. It's been a, a long week and there's been absolutely no news. Like, the only news that's come out is everything about God of War. I've, I've searched on, like, Eurogamer, the normal sources. I even posted, like, during the week, I posted, has anyone got an independent gaming site or anything that they want me to cover? Then I'll do it because this week it's just been one topic. Um, and it's a game that I haven't even played yet. I know you've been streaming it. I've but been sweating it, mate. That's what I've been doing. Have you been playing it off stream as well? I, I, dude, I wasn't going to, right? But I literally turned the stream off the other day and I was like, I want to play more God of War. <laughs> fuck, fuck them lot. Right? <laughs> I'm playing it. And I've literally been sweating it all weekend, dude. It's so good. I, I, need, I, I can't wait to play it. It's like that. Far Cry, uh, Far Cry 5, I need that as well. There's a few games that are just coming out that I'm just too poor to be able to afford at the moment. I feel That's like I'm missing you out. You pick them all up in the bargain being in a couple of months. Yeah. Because I said, like I said, because they're, si they're single player games, they do drop in value quite quick. So you have to pick them up. The one thing with this game, this God of War game at the moment, is, is I find it incredible that I've not come across any spoilers yet. Like, I don't know if it's just because everyone's thinking, like, it's one of these games that what everybody needs to play and everybody wants somebody else to play so they could talk about yeah. it away from everything. But usually by now, there would have been some arsehole on Twitter that would have yeah. just, like, spoiled it for everybody. Uh, but I haven't come across anything like that. I, I don't even know what it's about at all. I've not read anything into it. I do this with some games, like when I'm looking forward to our film or whatever. Like Ready Player One, I knew that it was a game about films, but I was dying to watch that film. And then I got in there, I was going in open-minded type of thing. I just want to be entertained. And I'm glad that nobody's spoiled that experience yet for anybody. I still haven't seen that yet. Is it good? Oh my God, you haven't seen it yet. It's it does, unbelievable. It does look good. It's so good. But yeah, I think, like you said, because everyone 
everyone is so hype about it. It's got so many good reviews and that. I think everyone's kind of like, oh, I'm not going to be that dickhead. Do you know what I mean? I'll yeah. let everyone else experience it for, for what it is. I don't want to spoil it. There will obviously be that asshole. If yeah, of course there will. Yeah. But, 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 uh, the thing is, yeah, everybody knows that, obviously, what it, uh, your streaming schedule and stuff like that, you're telling people that they're going to... Like, you tweeted out that you're going to be playing it. I was like, I'd normally come, but there's no way I'm sitting there watching yeah, you play because I want to see it myself. Yeah, yeah. It's just one of the things. People want it, the experience. It's, it's very rare nowadays that you get an incredible single-player experience. Like, there just isn't out there. The, the biggest game out at the moment is, like, the Battle Royale games, like Fortnite, yeah. like, Player Unknown, where it's just strictly online. There's no narrative or anything. You just know that you're on an island. You, you're against 100 other people. Do you know what I mean? So, mm. <clears throat> the fact that something else has come out that's just blowing everybody's minds as an entertainment uh, entertaining single player experience this is this is like what i got into gaming doing just playing these kind of, kind of games just getting involved in them that's what made me love it so much so um, it's one game that i'm absolutely looking forward to i mean i never really played the other games of the franchise so i'm literally going in with an open mind yeah well it's kind of like i mean i played the other three as well but it's kind of if you've played the other three you'll know a bit about the backstory and the lore and, and all that stuff to go with it but you can play it as a standalone as well and you kind of the way the story progresses you kind of pick pick mm -hmm. up on little things and stuff so you can figure it out for yourself it's, you don't have to have played the three. i mean you could always just check out a youtube video and you know yeah go to war in seven minutes or something <laughs> to tell you the story yeah no that's it honest, honestly is definitely something that i will end up picking up at some point um i'm just too poor so <laughs> but i've got an holiday so it's fine um, so yeah, the, the, this week's topics are kind of like well, I ain't even got any. I mean, we uh, we'll wing it, man. We'll wing it. You'll we'll wing it. Uh, we can we can talk. I can talk about Arsenal Wenger for two hours if you want. Uh, do you know what, mate? If you want to, I will happily talk about it. I'm not uh, the way that football's been this week. It's just one. It's just everything's been kind of in limbo. Like the Premier League's gone. Arsene Wenger's going, so it's kind of like, who's going to take his place? I mean, the amount of people's names that have come out of the art already, like Tushel and Paddy V and Brendan Rodgers, of all people, like... Yeah, I, I, I don't know about the Brendan Rodgers thing, man. Like, he actually didn't do too bad at Liverpool. If I've always said, if it wasn't for Gerrard with his rollerblades, they would have won the league. <laughs> yeah, but that's a very good point. I, I don't know, man, going... It feels like a step down with Rodgers, I'm not sure. But to be honest, I'd like a young, hungry manager who's got a new outlook on, on tactics. And, you know, like you've got all these people, like you said, too cool. Um, you've got the, the Red Bull Leipzig manager, I can't remember his name, Ralph something. Mm. Uh, he's pretty up and coming. It, it's like if you look at like City, Pep's, Pep's quite young. Yeah. Um, Conte's quite youngish for a manager. I mean, fuck Mourinho, I can't stand that guy. Uh, but, <laughs> Pochettino, so all these guys, and then we've got fucking this dinosaur, Arsene Wenger, who's like, what, 94 years old? Yeah. Been there for 46 years. He brought, he, 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 back in his time, though, he did, that's, he brought, that's the, the style of play that I'm watching City play now, I was watching Arsenal do. Oh, uh, yeah, he, rev he revolutionised the Premier League when he came. Yeah. But Time's the, change. The, everything else has progressed, and he's kind of stayed where he was. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm still a little bit sad, but I think it's the, uh, I think the right time to go is a couple of years ago when he won FA Cups. But yeah, hundred yeah. uh, percent. Tiger's asking, can I hum or sing the uh, falling music from Radical Heights? <laughs> I will do one better, and I will post a link for you to go and knock yourself out. I've actually got it as my ringtone. I love oh, it that dude, much. I was looking for the link, and I couldn't find the right song. Obviously, but, I haven't played much Radical Heights, so I haven't played any Radical Heights, but. Well, there you go, then knock yourself out with that link, mate. In fact, I, you know what? 45 seconds, it's not a copyright. Play it. We'll Dude. fucking play it. It does look good. I know you've been sweating this game out as well, <laughs> man. It does, look, it does look good. I'll tell you what, I've got the... Uh, put, I'm going to start this again because I've got it on full screen now so everyone can see this. This is, this is radical. This is the game that I have been blasting for like the last two weeks since it's come out. It's just everything about it is incredible. The 80s music, the dropping down. I mean, he's wearing a spandex. So he's milking this landing, by the way, because you can drop to the floor in like 10 seconds. He's milking this for the soundtrack, which I appreciate more than you can even <laughs> think. Because uh, the, the, it's called Macho Private Eye, the song, uh, by APM Music. And it's like, it only lasts about 20 seconds and it gets into this like funky beat, but it's not as good as this bit. But this, he's going to get stuck in literally every single person's head after you finish this. But yeah, it's, it's a battle royale game. It's, it, it's the most simplest of games that you'll ever play. Um, but it's amazing. It's like my favourite game at the moment. 
Well, it's like you said, I just love the, the style. Like you said, the spandex, he's got the mullet going. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, honestly, if I had more time, I would have definitely bought for Airsoft today a blue spandex suit, <laughs> like a, a, bit, a bigger a ginger right mullet. Husband, yeah, right? yeah, oh my <laughs> God. Like contestant drawn on the side of it. It would have been fucking amazing. I would have loved uh, it. That would have been good. <laughs> I need to get on it, man. I need to get on it. And honestly, if anybody, I tell you what though, it right, it rapes your PC. Like, I don't like really? to throw around the R word because it's quite a hectic word, but mate, it, it molests your like, PC. It's like alpha as well. Yeah, but they probably optimize it as well. That's why. Like. That's the thing is to stay. It, it will get stable at some point. Yeah. Um, J Dubs is saying, are we disappointed that the Konami that Konami lost the Champions League? I'm really not. Yeah, that's a good topic. I'm actually, yeah, it, it will. Are you are you for it? Are you happy about it? Are you uh, it disappointed? Depends. It, the, I've seen a few different sides of the coins. Some people like it's not that big of a deal because obviously they probably uh, invested a lot of money to to keep that license going, and now they can invest that that money elsewhere in terms of whether it be servers or other develop parts to develop the game and stuff. Which is yeah, if they do that, that's that will be you know positive from it. But then you could look at it and say. Are they going to invest that money, mm. or are they going to pocket it? Um, you know, they didn't do much with the license to begin with. You had the Champions League mode, which I actually really enjoyed. That's like the first thing I do when I get new pairs is I play for the Champions League mode. I love the the intros they got going. They, you know, the whole Champions League interface, even down to the little things like you have the official ad boards and stuff. Yeah, I love that shit. I, I, I wasn't a fan of the, the fucking ultimate stage stadium, like a million fans. <laughs> yeah. because the only reason, right, is I could play it. Cottage, whatever it's called, Village Road or whatever, it's mm. like 30,000 attendants. And then I play at the ultimate stage with a million attendants and the crowds sound the same. Yeah. Little things like that frustrate me. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, we'll have to wait and see what they do next. I mean, is it because FIFA have obtained it? it did Konami decide to, to cut ties with it or, or what? I mean, I don't know what it means for Pez League as well. I know the Champions League license was heavily involved in Pez League stuff. Yeah. We'll yeah. just have to wait and see what they do with it, man. You see, the the, the way I, the way, the only reason I was worried in the first sense was that I thought they was going to lose more teams. Like most of the teams that are in the Champions League aren't even like sponsored in the game, not even licensed like City and Real Madrid. Um, yeah. Any some, any some of the Premier of the teams League teams in the Champions League ain't even in the game. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, yeah. The Champions League, and you have to put some next teams in there because mm. they don't have the full roster. Was it Liverpool think... that was missing this year? Uh, well, Liverpool, Liverpool were in the game, yeah, but it wasn't put into the Champions League. That's that's what I mean, yeah. So when you start in the Champions League, when you do your yeah. your season or whatever, your Master League, and um, there was missing from it. But that's... like even like I like I said, I used to. That's the first thing I'd do on Pez, and I'd set it up. So I'm such a sad dude. I'd set <laughs> it up so like the groups are accurate to real life. Yeah. But then, some some of the teams weren't in there, so I'd have to replace blah blah with Moscow or something like that because the other team wasn't in there. So. I think I don't think that license is specifically tied to licenses for teams. I think the team licenses are done like separate. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't think it will affect uh, any team licenses or anything like that. But like I said, man, you're just gonna have to see. I hope they've got something up their sleeve to kind of be like. I know it kind of sucks we lost the Champions League, but look what we've done. Like maybe I don't know. They might have like a tournament mode in edit. Yeah, in, uh, tournament in edit mode, so you can create your own tournaments and upload images for it. Or I don't know. So the easiest way that they could get around this is make. Uh, like uh, uh, you probably will be able to on the on the on the PC because I know they can do it on the old Pez's anyway. Is literally have a section in the edit data where we can put transitions into stuff and like put our own ad boards in and stuff like that. Everything else yeah, then, yeah. everything else is completely irrelevant because we, we we can do that. It's not a problem. We can make it look authentic because we want it to look. Uh, we can make it look like match of the day from ninety ninety if we wanted to if we mm -hmm. had the tools to be able to do it. So. If if they give us more in the edit mode, then th this is like a non-problem. Like people won't even notice that it's gone. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's not as if like they're breaching or anything because they give us the ability to change the licenses in the in the initial part. So it's not as it's not going to be a brand new thing. Do you know what I mean? We're not yeah bashing the data but, out for non licenses non license issues. I'm trying to get something out of my head. My head's just on its ass. <laughs> but yeah, it's um. It's not as if we're infringing on licenses that are, we haven't already fucked up, basically, in the game. So, it's, I don't know. It, it, I think they can give us more in the edit mode. I can't see well, why. I mean, if, how the edit mode is at the moment, if you can... They've obviously done it legally that you can... You know, they know people are going to import Nike ticks or Adidas mm. logos and stuff like that. So, like, I play my single-player PES on PC and some of the patches, like you said, instead of having the standard PES replay transition, you can load in a Bundesliga one when you're yeah. playing Bundesliga or... Uh, 
you know, a fucking Serie A one or whatever and ad boards and all this shit. If you could somehow do something, not maybe to that extent, because obviously you're limited on the consoles, but something where you can add images in to another section, not just teams and, and stadium images and manager photos. Yeah. If you could do something else, maybe even the, some people want stadium editor back, dude, or yeah. stadium creator. Like, I would love that of shit. Course. Like, that's the stuff. That's the sort of stuff that people want to be able to do. Do you know what I mean? It's they want to try and make the game look as authentic as possible. And I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the f word out. And I'm gonna mention FIFA with this. The most bang average FIFA YouTubers or streamers that you can think of that do career mode. Theirs look like a million times better than the best Master League person. Like, oh yeah. If, just because of how good it looks. Like, if you look at like um. I know shows in here, he does a Master League series, and I know uh, Pez Story Mode, he obviously does one as well. Now, we haven't got all the bells and whistles, so it's literally just like um, when you go to the Master League homepage, you've got that big stupid daft um, image in the middle, and then you've got the tiles that go around the outside. Um, but once all that's done, and you get into the game, like there's no, there's no the transitions aren't correct, like um, the stadium's... Are just Little all generic, like not even showing the league table before yeah. kickoff, dude. Yeah, and the, when the players are uh, like on Sky Sports and that, where the players walk to the camera and things like that, like all those things are in. Like I did, I spent it. Oh god, it took me forever, but it took me like twenty hours in the week to be able to put together like a match of the day style thing for Pez Universe. Oh yeah, YouTube. I remember when you said that. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, right, I had to record every single game that got played. And then he had to cut bits up to try and make it look like it was a match of the day type thing. So it would be like ten, like five minutes of highlights for each game that went on. And I'm not even joking. Every single game looked exactly the same. There was nothing yeah. that changed. It, the names flashed up on the screen, but there was no faces or anything. It just looked bland and shy. And I was just like, this just isn't picking up. Well, it's just a, it's just the match day experience in general. Like, apart from changing the stadium, that doesn't change anything else. Mm. Like... If I'm playing at Village Road or if I'm playing at Camp New, it should feel different. I mean, Camp New does feel a bit different because, you know, it's perfectly recreated and that. But once you're on the pitch, I can't specifically tell that I'm at the Camp New. No. Because the, the, the match day experience is lacking a little bit for me. Like the chance ain't there for some of them. And I, I don't know what it is. It's just it loses the magic a little bit. But years ago, you used to be able to put your own chance in. And yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was that was PS3, awesome. You used to be able to load them in. Yeah, that was awesome. I mean, I I I've had a PS3 for maybe a year, maybe even two years. But the amount of time that I spent away from that game doing edit stuff for the PlayStation version, that put like putting on all the chance and things like that. Oh, there's nothing better than walking out at the uh, at the Konami Stadium to hear. What do you think of Tottenham? <laughs> <laughs> like that's the first one I loaded. Yeah, yeah, obviously. And like, I applied that to every chance like, I asked us. That is all they sung. <laughs> um, what are we saying? Uh, main thing that will be effective for most players in the Champions League, special agent is my club. Hopefully, it will make Konami more creative with special agents. Yeah, because the thing is with the special agents, you know what you're getting at the start of every like, you know, yeah, you get like the best of. November, yeah, it's... and then you know the Champions League agent's going to come up, and then they kind of have like a filler one where it's like King of the Wings or <laughs> Speedsters. Speedsters, yeah, that's the yeah. one. Speedsters. With no Mo Salah in it. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit dodgy. Uh, show, thank you very much for the for the host, mate. I do appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, the Champions League license is is one of them. You can have a read too much into it and have uh, have a complete shit fit. Like there was there was people that I seen like underneath when they released a statement, uh, people that had moved over to like Pez over the last two years and I was looking at it going, this is an absolute travesty. I seen this. I came over to for this. Like it's like mate, seriously, what would you have done fifteen years ago? I know you're probably playing FIFA, but this is this is no news to the people that have been in the community long enough to give yeah. a shit. Do you know what I mean? We was playing where the Dutch players was. Called called orange and stuff like that and that's not me sitting there <laughs> being an elitist saying i've been here from day one type of thing but the amount of stuff that we've put up with this is like water off a duck's back it's, yeah. no it's i mean like you said with the edit mode if they can bolster that a bit it'll fix it the only thing i worry about a little bit is the edit mode kind of it caters very well to the hardcore fans because you know like you said they've been playing pets for so long they're used to this shit but with uh, losing a license like the Champions League, will that turn off the casual gamer who's not, you know, doesn't want to sit in edit mode uploading? I know it's easy as, as shit, just, you know, plugging a USB and whatever, mm. but some people literally just want to load up the game and play. And uh, I don't know, would it scare the casuals off a little bit that are, that well, are thinking of maybe. Yeah. 
it, it's with the with the Champions League, what did it actually bring? Bar the, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They didn't. There wasn't much. Yeah, that it was actually it, in terms of content to the game. The only way that they're going to play the Champions League mode is if they do what you do and just boot it up just to play through it, or they do it in Master League, where is that if they are going to start a Master League, they're going to know straight away that the likes of the Premier League isn't licensed and. Yep. La Liga and Bund- obviously Bundesliga is not in the game until someone I mean, creates I think, it. I so. think losing a La Liga license is, last year was bigger than. Liga oh yeah, definitely, hundred percent. For for one, when you go to Pez League, you can't use Real Madrid. Possibly yeah. one of the, well, the, the European champions for a start. Um, it kind of throws it up a little bit. Uh, I'd love it if they had a marketplace like Steam where you can get approved option files imported to PS4. That's dope. Yeah, very similar to like what the WWE Team does. Workshop. And Steam Workshop, obviously, yeah, like what we mentioned. Um, and NBA, uh, the 2K series, like the NBA ones, where you can just download rosters and shit like yeah. that. Like one FIFA click. used to do something, because well, it, uh, it used to be called like the Creation Center. Yes. It's meant to access it in-game, but they took it out. But you could, I remember I downloaded like a classic Arsenal roster mm. and stuff like that. So, I mean, yeah, they could maybe put like a, even do it in-game in Pez where you could access it. But I mean, most of the time they, they don't really do player updates and if they do the player updates are completely wrong or they just don't work yeah. at all so asking them to put something like this in uh, that's that's like they've done everything else that they need to do what's the, what's the next big step kind of thing or what mm-hmm. can we do as uh, a nice thing to put in rather than something that we need to put in it'd be awesome if they did put it in though because it'll just save everybody a hell of a lot of time yeah. Plus, you could like mix and match so easily. You could just like, oh, I want that Arsenal, but I want to download that Man United, or yeah. Like, but I don't know. That's I don't know how much work goes into. It. I mean, I don't really know about the development side and stuff. I just, I'm just oh, I know absolutely nothing. I, I, t- I say it's talking like I know absolutely everything that there is to know about it. Where in actual fact, I know bollocks all. Yeah, but it's still you know <clears throat> it's still good to throw ideas around and and stuff like like I I see people on Twitter who come up with some genius stuff, mm. but they're never going to get heard. Yeah, it kind of sucks. So they, I don't know. Maybe there could be like a forum set up where you know, I, I don't know, man. Well, the the, know, the one place that everybody used to go was PezFan, and that's died a death. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's not even running anymore. Is it? Is it down? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't. I used to see a lot of stuff about like they was running competitions on Twitter, and I haven't seen anything for a while. But I'm not sure. Well, that site's still. I just no, don't think it gets used anymore. Last post was on January. Yeah, there's like winning eleven blog and stuff like that as well. Obviously, they don't get used that much either. So, yeah. it's just one of them things. Obviously, everyone can have an opinion on absolutely everything. It's just whether or not like everybody's opinion and everybody's idea is not going to go into the game. Do you know what I mean? I am very much in the in the sense that this game now. Obviously, it's not going to go gold till later on in the year. But I reckon they're probably seventy five percent, eighty percent of the way through this game already. Yeah, with it being. Yeah. Nearly May, June, July, August, September, four months' time. That's not a lot of time to be able to put something huge yeah, update things, wise. Like you've got when's uh, so you've got when's Gamescom and all that as well. Uh, Gamescom's August, I think. Oh, it might oh, be yeah. early September. E3 is the earlier one, isn't it? It's yeah, yeah. No, E3 is next month, I think. So, yeah, I reckon they're probably about seventy-five percent of the way through development. They've probably got all the all the core gameplay mechanics in place, whether they're adding. I don't think they'll add too much this year. I, I don't think they will. I don't, yeah, it's not going to be anywhere close to... They'll throw around some buzzwords like total control. Or, <laughs> do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. They're buzzwords that have been in there for years and you don't never know what they actually mean. It, to, to be honest with you, the the, the gameplay is not hideous. Like No, I don't. I really like the gameplay this year. I mean, there is things I don't like as well. Mm. Um, you know, I think like the defensive AI for the defenders that you're not controlling can be a bit better. Um, and stuff like that, but you know, it's is more than more than playable and it's yeah. enjoyable. I enjoy it, so it, I, it, I wouldn't want them to spend too much time. You know, if they gave me the same gameplays this year, but with a ton, like tons of more content in terms of modes, and I'd be happy. Oh, and I think everybody would. I mean, the, yeah. the reason I've stopped playing it as much as I was doing is because I'm not enjoying the Master League. My micro, I'm just terrible at playing online, so I could play like three <laughs> or four games, and then I'm either getting absolutely blasted. Uh, smoked online and I just lose my head and come off it uh, it's just not grabbing me like I usually do a beer, uh, by now I would have done a beer pro 
um, become a legend, or be a pro, whatever you want to call it. Um, I would have done at least two or three seasons on that Master League. I would have been probably in the fifth or sixth season by now. I would have at least created and done more streams on YouTube and things like that. But yeah. there's just nothing that makes me want to go back to it at the moment. Apart from yeah, when yeah. someone says, do you want to have a few games? And I'm like, yeah, I'll have some games with someone. Um, I'm just playing games with friends or whatever. That's the only time that I'm that I'm picking up the PES pad. I mean, I bought a PS2 thing so I can start playing the old um, Pro Evos and getting a Master League done on that. But... It says a lot when you're going back to Pro Evo 2 that's 15, 16 years old and still enjoying that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, well, I mean, you could argue some of the older Pez's Master Leagues were more immersive than the new ones. Mm. Well, there's three divisions they, they, in Master League for a start. Well, they've taken stuff out. Mm. Like, they've taken a lot of things out. There's, uh, obviously, with uh, me and Barry did a, a Pro Evo podcast about a month ago. Um, yeah. And I was literally, as we was doing the podcast, I was editing all my PS2 stuff. Um, so if it's all the team names are wrong, all the, most of the big name players are <clears throat> stupidly named, or the Dutch team just didn't exist, and it was called Oranges, so I was doing all that while I was playing through, and I was just mentioning to him, like, there's the instances where the, the, I've conceded a corner, and the opposition team are about to take the corner, and as the ball's coming in, I'm trying to defend it, but their striker's just peeled off the back of my defender, uh, so he's got like two yards, so we're just able to head the ball, that does not happen in this game. Like this, no. uh, the AI just doesn't have. They don't come at you like that. Even when you're playing on like superstar level or whatever, they haven't got the intelligence to be able to do the small, the easy things. I think it's down to skill gap, though. I honestly do. Mm. Like I've seen a lot of people talking on on Twitter and forums and Reddit and stuff about the skill gap in games recently, and I think it does apply to Pez. Like I remember the old Pez games, you had to manage that power bar, dude, in front of goal. Yeah. If you was too heavy on the power bar, it blast it over too low. Keep makes it easy save now. I can full bar power from inside the 18 yard box and it's going top pins. Yeah. Whereas normally, if you full bar power and it should be going out the fucking stadium, mate. <laughs> yeah, it should be. It should there's be no, in. Yeah, it should be in the car park, shouldn't it? Yeah. So there's no the, the skill gap has been it's been shrunk down. So you don't really need to mar like Pez used to be a game that you'd master just so you could shit on your friends day in yeah. day out. Yeah, yeah. And now it's like you know you got three levels of pass assist. Why? Why do we need three levels? Yeah. Just on or off. Right? Yeah, that's it. On, yeah. And on is like 0. 0.5 of what it is now. Mm -hmm. Because free is outrageous. Yeah. Like, it's very rare now that when I'm shooting, I'll do a normal shot. I'll do a manual shot now. And it, f it really annoys Barry. I, was, I actually edited myself. I was going to say fucks him off. But um, every time I get the ball 25 yards out, I am slapping the ass off that ball and with a manual shot. And nine times out of ten, it's, it's making the keeper do something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but that's like full power. Uh, it should just be flying over the. It, it, when it, as soon as it hits that red bit, the the shooting should be that erratic. It's it, it's probably not going on target and it's flying off. Rather yeah, than like, it, I, I don't think I've ever seen a shot in Pest when it in that absolutely rattles over the bar by miles. Yeah, and you see that a lot in football. I do anyway. I watch Granite Jacker week in week out. Right? It just <laughs> flies over the bar on a regular basis. Yeah. But you never see that. It always kind of, it's always close to make you go, oh, or whatever. It's like it's uh, not. I don't. I'm not saying the S word, right? I'm not saying the S word, but it's kind of like programmed for it to be edge of your seat stuff. Like, oh, it's yeah. always a close call, which sometimes it shouldn't be, man. Sometimes I should be hitting shots for throw-ins. Mm, like, that's it. I've got Danny Welbeck in my team. <laughs> I'm hitting shots for throw-ins, and like, so yeah, yeah. I think it's the skill gap. I think it is the skill gap. It's kind of been dumbed down a little bit. Uh, to well, make it more accessible. I agree. It's it's fair. they want to get everybody in it, don't they? So the casual gamers, the the pro players, they all want them on a level playing field. Um, there's quite a few comments that are coming through. I'll read I'll read pirates first because it's more relating back to ours. Uh, the full power bar doesn't even work half the time anymore. Um, I've done the full power bar clearances and passes, and it only goes small distances. It's just not the same anymore. I agree with that. Even when you when you I I play I'm 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 a dirty gamer. I will fully say this i'm a dirty game i use fifa buttons in pro evo so, so do it, i oh <laughs> yes get in i'm a proper dirty well, gamer man. when it comes to that like when i'm playing with mates and stuff like that or whatever i just make sure that they don't they're not looking at the screen like when i went to the anfield event <laughs> they had it projected on this like big fuck off like 70 foot screen and the, everyone's just like <laughs> look at this people stood there and i'm like I'm going to start changing my buttons in a minute and they're going to be like, what is going on? I'm Dude, just like, I was at a fucking Pez League, bro. Like, changing my <laughs> buttons before the, the tournament. I'm like, if any of these guys see this, I'm going to get kidnapped. Like, he's not one of us. <laughs> yeah, that's it's it. Me out. It's madness. But yeah, I'm a proper dirty gamer. So like, when I'm pressing circle um, to like clear the ball or whatever and he'll just like do a little daisy cut four yards away. 
But that's that's again the skill gap. Like that you don't it with the, like a, like the pirate said, the full bar doesn't even work with passes. Like you should have to. If a guy's five yards away, you should be able to know, all right, I only need to tap this or it's going to overhit the pass and he's going to lose possession. Or if he's 40 yards away, all right, I have to put this much power. Yeah. You can just full power everything. Mm. It's, uh, it's, there's, there's, there's stuff like that, the small finesse things that are going to make the game, hopefully, yeah. into but a I, different I think, direction. I honestly think it's to make it more accessible so people don't yeah. feel daunted when they come in. and like Because obviously they want people to come over from FIFA. To yeah, play, of course they do, yeah. But they don't want them to be daunted by all these, you know, mechanics where they don't want them to think fuck man i should have been playing this game for five years before i get any good yeah to, because that's the, the the nature that we are in the game in if people play a game for an hour two hours and they're not already good at it they just be like oh this game shit fuck it i'm not playing mm. they just want to be instantly good no one games now you don't need to put the time in to be good yeah I, I agree like, like it's... stuff like street fighter and, and that as well even i used to be a massive street fighter player and the new one is garbage for that exact reason that you can just get like you can do 40 hit combos by pressing two buttons yeah i was you, super shit at that one game frame links and now they've changed it to three frame links to make it just a little bit easier well i, I stayed away from them games because anytime i went on them games i just got absolutely panned like i cannot <laughs> play their games but that's that's uh, that, it, that game is clearly not aimed at me then so i, I respect people who play that game but i'm not going to play that game because i'm shit mm. i haven't got the patience to sit there and try and get good uh let's have a look we've got, we've got quite a few comments coming through the guy named kazer thank you very much for the follow mate uh, blah, 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 blah. uh what bothers me at the minute with game is that everybody does uh dies out really quickly like if you go back five years you could play a game if it's full cycle whereas now a few months in and it's dead uh, that's why fortnite is my go-to game as it consistently brings me back i think this fortnite bubble at some point uh, these battle royale games i think the bo uh, the bubble's gonna pop i can't i i, I kind of agree a little bit yeah like with the Fortnite stuff, I think they're bringing too many things out too quick. Like, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not as into Fortnite as much as everybody else is. Like, I'll play it. I, I think it's great, but I'm just not into that top ten percent level where it's just like fucking yes. Fortnite is. It's amazing. The bubble is gonna pop. I think they're trying to cram too much into that game. I think as they're fast trying as to they make can. the game too big too quick. Yeah. I think they're even stunned by how big it's got. So they're like, oh shit, dude, there's so many people playing, we need to constantly keep updating or we're going to lose this player base. Yeah. And it, like, the amount, I play a lot of Fortnite and the amount of times, I, I dread a new Fortnite update coming because I know that they're going to cram so much in, it's going to fuck something else up. Mm -hmm. And it does every time. Like, I commend them because they do fix it quick. Yeah. But like, they'll bring in a new gun or a new shield type, which is, is not really needed because you've got tons of shield types, but that will break the the shotgun mechanics or yeah. they'll fix the shotgun mechanics and then that will cause an issue whereas you can't shoot over your ramp properly and you end up hitting your own ramp and then they'll fix that <laughs> it's just constant yeah well that's it because obviously we're all in this discord chat which i am just about to drop the uh invite in just in case anybody else actually wants to to join it it's obviously it's not my i think beans made this it's not mine but if there is any fortnite players out there and you want to try and squad up i'm going to eventually work out how to copy this uh, that's the discord link but yeah obviously people are in there rattling all the time i'm just i'm just watching whatever all, all you lot are saying i don't play it half as much as you lot do so i'm just taking all your words for it um but yeah it doesn't seem for me it's just one of them like the bubble is gonna pop there's too many games coming out i mean obviously i'm buzzing my tits off at radical lights at the moment but in a, in a, in, a, in a sense it's just playing on battlegrounds with an 80 skin on it there's nothing well it's even like triple a developers like dice are wanting uh, apparently there's a, a battlefield battle royale in the works call of duty you've got a battle yeah. royale mode coming red dead red dead is definitely going to have a yeah. battle royale I don't, it's just so obvious and that might be quite cool in a in like a western theme though um but yeah there's i'm trying to think of something similar from a few years ago that kind of happened and everyone jumped on that and now because like everyone is on this battle royale yeah. hype well, it's a, I, I, I'm not a game developer, but I can't imagine this is a hard game to develop. You have 100 characters on a server with guns to pick up throughout. I don't think this is a... Yeah, it's just a standard like, like loot system. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't think it's a complex thing. There's, there's no storyline. You build a map that's, I don't know, a grid of 30 by 30. I don't know. And then the, 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 the grid gets smaller. It's not a hard thing. Yeah, I mean... Oh, yeah, you, like you used to be able to play for a mine, mine sweeper where you pressed a fucking 
grid and then the whole thing would explode, do you know what I mean? It's just the opposite of that. It's not a hard and if thing to do. They've already got the first person mechanics in, like something like Call of Duty or Battlefield. It wouldn't be hard to implement a mode like that yeah. at all. Shogun said it there. Wave modes. Oh, yeah. Horde mode is kind of. Yeah, everything had a horde mode on like Xbox yeah. 360 and that, yeah. Gears of War horde mode and then you had zom uh, like COD zombies. and. For me, Gears was the pinnacle. Pinnacle of wave ga of wave game scares. That was like yes, it was good. Oh, it's all so good. Just getting that chainsaw, just ragging it out. Um, Pad Gear nineteen eighty four. Uh, I haven't seen you in here before, so I do uh, welcome there, mate. Uh, I, I want dedicated servers, too laggy otherwise, unforgivable, I want less assisted shooting, passing, basically there's more skill required to be good. A pro club mode, please God, give us a pro club mode. Oh. He, he didn't say that, that's better me, like, quoting that. Uh, a pro club mode would just be fucking dreams, man. Just, dude, I just, oh, we keep coming back to Pez. <laughs> Yeah. I, like I know, but it's, it's, it's the, fans, but... that, that's well. That, that's the thing. We're, obviously, we're fans, and the people who we know, uh, most yeah. of the community people are coming in. Yeah, there, yeah. obviously, they want us to talk about to talk about Pez. But the transfer, I, go on. No, I was just going to say, I, I've always thought that Pez is the perfect game for a pro club mode oh, because 100%. it has the fake names and that, and you can build your own club and get your guys in and you progress your club and you know you, as you progress you can unlock certain stadiums to have as your home ground like i want to start a club right that have got some fucked up muddy ass pitch with rip nets and we're playing at what was that what was that fucking stadium clubhouse we yes. started a clubhouse mate it's just got a fucking track. shed at the end of a running track yeah. do you know what i mean no nets fucking no nets. <laughs> Like jumpers. Yeah, they, they were going they're back to this is football where you just got the jumpers, mate. Yeah, that, but that you build sick. your club up. Like, you build your club up. You can use your be a legend in there as well. So that ties in with the be a legend. That's your pro. So you build him up in that mode. You bring him over into pro clubs mode. You build your club up with your mates. Mate, get the I have, hashtag I, Pez together thing going that they wanted to. Dude, it would be perfect, man. I have been doing marches and protests through Manchester for years to try and get this game mode in there. I've been walking well, down with picket signs. <laughs> And there's no Konami Studios in Manchester, just walking around and they all give us pro clubs. Like literally, all Adam Batty has to do at E3 is walk out on stage, open up his shirt and the t-shirt says pro clubs on Pez. And, and, just, and it just walks up. Yeah, it just throws like, the microphone into the crowd, goes all rock star and that. Uh, it would be, it's the perfect mode for the game, man. Because, but they want to channel everyone into my club. Yeah, well, that's where the money is, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, we've got two follows, uh, Hassan and Pagey, thank you very much for both of those. Uh, the hype will only last for as long as I move on to something else in time. It's just a cycle. You either jump on it if it's your thing or leave it. Exactly. It's just one of them, whatever you feel. Pez Battle Royale mode going. <laughs> oh my god. Knockout Wem. Do you know what Knockout Wem is? Well, yeah, dude, I know what Wem oh, is. Oh, thank yeah, fuck we for that. We just call it Wembley, but I know what you mean. Mate, I was gonna. I was, first round's one goal, innit? The first yeah. round's one goal, and you, when you get when you progress, oh, round. that's yeah, yeah. it. When, mate, when it's when it's handball, it's penalties all round. That is what yeah. we need. No, oh, mate. Give me a head as a volleys mode as well. <laughs> Sixty seconds. Oh, we used to call that Goomer round here. Goomer. Yeah, Goomer. Heads and oh, volleys. Head as a volleys. That's literally what we called it. Oh God, can you imagine that knockout whim? Just like ten of your mates and just someone in net. Oh God. Like 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 Fever Street kind of mode, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, sick. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck this. I'm not even caring about Pez. We're fucking making this game, man. Yeah, no, it's not even going gonna... to... You know you not wanted the third co the third football game to compete? <laughs> this is it, mate. Knockout win. <laughs> Coming to PS4 soon. Indie game. Yes, mate. Uh, you have to do one playthrough to unlock Kedders and Volleys. Oh, and you man. get red ass. We used to call it Headers and Volleys, right? And we had this one kid. I remember this perfectly. One kid that was going... Is it allowed to touch the floor? <laughs> no half follies, mate. Volleys, no yeah. fucking half follies, mate. You're not having that. If you do I that, you're in net. Can I use an ice hockey stick? No, <laughs> it's head of the follies. That's what you're allowed to use. Oh, that'd be sick. Honest to God. Like, why has that not been done yet? Do you know what I mean? Like, an indie game. How has someone not thought, do you know what we'll do? We'll do head of the follies. We'll play knockout win. What was that What was that game that used to be on mini clips, dude? It was like a football game. Oh, and I think that was called, I think that was called Jumpers for Goalposts. Nah, nah, was it? It might have been actually. I'm I remember that. It. Really? And you get like the 88th minute come up and the ball comes in for a side and you yes. fucking miss it completely. Mouse breakers, uh, jumpers. For... I'm sure it had a four, four goal posts. We are on this. I'm going to fucking play this on stream now. Jumpers for goal says, post uh, five. 
Paddy says, I want like an online arena like on FIFA with a crossbar challenge and etc. Yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, like, yeah. Online skin games. So you wait in line to try and beat your friend's score or some shit. I know they've got leaderboards now, but that would be pretty cool. Oh my god, yeah, it is Jumpers for Goalposts. Yeah, live web screen. Bosh! Yeah. Uh, so a quick look at this. Uh, can't wait for the new Battlefield. Uh, I like the COD games, but you can play them for a full cycle now. For example, the biggest COD fans ever, World War II. Shit, played that for two months. That's the reason why I didn't get that game. Get that game. I didn't think it was going to last half as long as it did. Well, World War Two. Yeah, man. I got why they they released it right pre-release. They hyped up so much stuff, and there's stuff that they hyped up pre-release that still isn't in the game. Six Mad. months later, but they've only just bought out paint jobs for your guns and that. It's six months. Yeah, man. They, they were the new one's going to be coming out soon, won't it? Exactly. They're they're like, dude, the new one is getting canned. Or like, there's some news for you. Apparently. They sent off Black Ops 4 to playtesters, like an early build, and the playtesters turned around and said, this is basically Overwatch. You've just remade Overwatch. This sucks. <gasps> so, no but Treyarch way. apparently mad, like, did mad backpedaling, removing loads of assets from the game and that, but there's a worldwide reveal in two weeks. Oh, my God. Do you know what? I'll, I would love... Player, dude. No, there's no, even... it's ridiculous. I would love... Who's making this one? Is it Infinity uh, Ward? Treyarch. No, Treyarch. Treyarch. Right, yeah, because they do Black Ops, don't they? I would love for a game to come out like once every two years so they're not just rushing yeah. these games out. It's just stupid. Like, they're bringing these games out annually. There's well, sure... it's like sports games. I'm, I'm sure sports games could just become like an online kind of thing where they just update it each year with new rosters, new uniform, yeah. like new kits, and... You know, just patch new, it. Just patch it. And even if you've got paid... Like, because obviously they need to bring in money, so they they bring out paid extensions and stuff. Kind of how like World of Warcraft does it. Yeah, and like Destiny and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I would love for games to do that. Like, it's on like a four year cycle. Call or of whatever. Duty Online in they have like Call of Duty Online. I think it's in China. Yeah. Where it's just Call of Duty, and they constantly add in new maps. They constantly add in new guns. So you have this crazy massive game with tons of guns, tons of modes, tons of maps. It's constantly updated. Well, I mean, even great. if you made them free to play. If you made them free to play and put microtransactions in there, I'd obviously I don't want to sway that, but it should only be cosmetic things. People go mad. Like, people, uh, League of Legends is like one of the most streamed games, Baron God of War at the moment, but for years, League of Legends and World of Warcraft have been two of the highest streaming games. Uh, World of Warcraft obviously is a paid paid for game, but League of Legends, people just buy the character skins. Like, you're you're doing it now on Fortnite, aren't you? There's, you don't yeah. have to pay for it for the Battle Royale stuff. And people are just throwing money at these skins and stuff like that, even if you have to but do that. But that's because it gives you no no competitive edge at all. It's yeah, just, exactly. If you want to look like a fucking bell and running around with a tomato on your head, <laughs> you can pay to do that. Yeah. And it's fine. Exactly. You're not forced to in any way. Like, and it doesn't give you an edge. If anything, it gives you a disadvantage, because I can see a tomato in a bush from a mile away, right? <laughs> But I'd rather have the camo chick. Yeah. But then obviously games like Call of Duty, they say it's not paid to win. But if I'm opening up a supply drop and I get this weapon variant that shoots quicker than the other guys, mm. that's paid to win. Yeah, of course it is. Quicker than he can kill me. Yeah. I agree. So yeah, that's, the, uh, that's the wrong model for microtransactions, if you ask me. Well, the, like you say, with the skill gap on Fortnite, for instance, it's the building. Like, I'm shit at the building. I cannot throw a wall up to save my life. But there's people like... My brother's like the the perfect example. He's twelve year old, and he, that's all he plays. Like, yeah, it's all he. But he must have played about nine hundred to a thousand games on that game since it's come out. It's just ridiculous. That's all he plays. But he gets wins. Do you know what I mean? He's really good at building and stuff like that. I'm sure. I mean, I jumped on with Albie yesterday, right? He's traded in his Xbox for a PlayStation because he wants to play duos with me. And yeah, I was well. like, all right, I'll carry you to a win, dude. I jumped on with him yesterday. I got sniped. This kid blasted two guys with a shotgun while they're pushing him and rezzed me. I was like, you beast. That's it. Got a win. Yeah. These kids are animals right now. They've evolved, bro. They have. They're evolving. Like, I, I don't think I had the concentration back then for stuff like that. Like, I, I, just wanted, I just wanted I to play I can't do it now. Right That's now. it. Yeah, no, they don't want to fucking play out. I've got a massive field in front of my house and it never gets used anymore, but mm. it's the same field that I grew up playing on and there's just nobody out there anymore. It sounds like, all right, Peter, I'm just staring out the window looking for kids. No, we just sound old as fuck. I know. I mean, I'm 27, oh, back, do you know what I mean? I can still go out there and kick a ball. I'm like, Elves, you're not going to use your BMX for Christmas? Nah, Dad. I'd rather have a battle pass, Dad. <laughs> what? Get out there now. And ride that bike. But that is raining. I don't care. <laughs> you got a waterproof in there. Get it on, lad. Uh, God, God, saying 2019 will be a no pre-order for me. I need to know that they've added unsolved issues. I'm not buying the exact same game for the fourth year in a row. 
Uh, I think the gameplay mechanics from 15 to what's potentially going to be 19, I think they've changed. I just don't think there's enough to keep me wanting to go back. I don't think there's been a big enough leap. Yeah. Between between games, I like. I feel like 18 from 17 to 18 was a bit a bit of a leap. Like I, I look back at some of my streams from 17, and you can see a massive difference, not just in visuals, but in mm. how the ball moves and stuff. So it's decent. But I don't think that's the problems that people were annoyed with. with yes, yeah. for me is. It's just the, the the fucking straight up ignorance in terms of online cheating. Mm. Like, they go on acknowledging that's that it's not there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I know true. they don't want to. You know, they. Uh, it must be a tough position to be in because they don't want to acknowledge it. Then they don't want to acknowledge that their game is, has a has a flaw in it and a, a broken system. But it's to the point now where people have been lag cheating for like ten years, bro. Yeah, it's just not moving anywhere, is it? You got to stop this shit, man. Mm. Like. The infrastructure regarding void in matches and that is just dumb. Do it how FIFA does it, man. Just copy them. They copied your fake shot from like 15 years ago. Just yeah. copy how they do it. <laughs> Give us a latency bar. The courtesy rating is bullshit because you can cheat that as well by going into online divisions and, and getting your courtesy rating back up and then yeah. go back into my club and cheating. Just give us a latency bar before the game. Don't show ratings of that because people just back out when they see my rating because I'm an animal. But <laughs> I'm joking. I'm Self joking. proclaimed. <laughs> I'm joking. I wasn't trying to fuck this guy. It's pretty <laughs> Um but yeah, they've got to sort the cheating out, man. Yeah, it has to be done. Um, yeah, that's why, why people get frustrated. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's the thing. it's the same thing that gets echoed all the time, doesn't it? There's, mm. there's not a day that goes by that I don't see someone saying that. Yeah, you don't... And that's you, on my feed with not that many followers, do you know what I mean? So Yeah, you go on you go on Twitter, there's always someone or Reddit, you know, exposing a lag cheater or, mm. or, or something like that. So, yeah, it needs to be sorted. Uh, Paggy is saying GTA are the only game that wait years to make a fucking good game, and that is showing. I think now GTA has held the record for most time spent in the the top ten games sold weekly and yearly uh, since it came out on uh, Xbox 360, PS3, and obviously since then it's been ported to everything, including mm. the Switch soon, uh, and it is now the the highest grossing uh, digital media thing. Yeah. Is that out of everything, out of TV, Movies film, and, everything? Yeah. yeah, that says a lot for a video game. Is it I know like five billion dollars or something. Exactly. Shit like yeah, like they haven't had to make a game for like six years. They keep updating that. Mate, I think I've seen like game posted something like they've got a new pack that's come out for it. Like the amount of expansions that they've done for it. The new well, pack they, yeah, comes they, out they, like yeah, four million. You get like ten cars, a garage that holds ten cars, and they stuff like that. CEO mode. And yeah, that was cool. Then they brought out like the bunkers, and you could buy like military bunkers, and you could buy yachts, and then mm. you could buy like aircraft carriers, and they're just like they they don't need to make a new game right now. They're making Red Dead, obviously, but like for six years they've just been just riding that GTA wave, and people like it the well, way they're doing it. The graphics are good enough on PS4 to keep people happy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not it's not the be all and end all. The graphics, if the game's good enough, and it, it clearly is good enough. Uh, Pat and say GTA continuing to improve their game and regularly put it on safe. Uh, but more often than not, it holds its value. That's what I mean. Uh, I'm guessing that that's obviously meant to say so. It is. It does say so. I've just fucking read it wrong. Um, but yeah, it's it's one of them games. You've got your core fans that have always played GTA, but you always have people going, "Oh, what's that? Why are you blowing up police cars? Oh shit! Let me get away from that." Do you know what I mean? You always keep bringing, you're always bringing people back to play it. And if there's something there that's wanting people to play it, then <laughs> you're onto a winner. There's no there's a reason why it's the the most sold game. Um, yeah. about, about, Plus it, I mean, it has anything. that charm as well where like I, I got into GTA Online like, when I first played GTA Online was when it first came out and I was getting just shit on by people in jets and I was like this is not fun like, yeah. so I come off it but it has that charm where you oh, let me jump back on GTA Online mm. and see what it's like and there's all this new shit and you're like holy shit this is sick Yeah. and then, you know you might par it off for another game for a bit a new game comes out you play that but you'll always end up going back to gta because there, there's always something new to check out whether it's new races modes or new adversary modes or whatever they've added into it there's always something new i'm addicted to the racing mode on that game i think racing that's is fun as shit the crazy ass tracks in it the ones with like the the rainbow roads and stuff like that yeah, that go around oh and you fly wait, to, there's you... a massive jump ahead oh my car's got a parachute <laughs> yeah like, <laughs> Oh, you end up doing them ones where oh, what's it called? It's like the stunt series where you'll turn into a jumbo jet and then you'll turn into an helicopter and then you'll get <laughs> into like a bike that has wings. Food. Yeah, oh, it's, it's mad. Old micro machine stuff. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's entertaining. You know what I mean? I think there's there's been points where uh, me and Barry have literally stayed up till like three o'clock in the morning on school night, 
and just literally played game after game after game. It's like I keep on betting on him to go to win a game, and then I'll end up coming first, and I'll end up losing the money that I put down. It's just so good, man. Uh, GTA will implement a battle royale mode even if it's just a special event, and everyone will still lap it up. Exactly. The the the, the, the are doing it for Red Dead anyway, but. Well, well, people are still playing this game. If they're gonna um, use the same, I don't know if it, it's not gonna run off the same engine, but if the mechanics are even compatible, they will just throw it into the game. It's the, the Rockstar do well enough to be able to keep on get this game up to date and making it relevant for it to still be sold. I mean, I'm just gonna have a look now while we're still talking. Um, where is it? Firefox. Yeah, use Firefox. Google Chrome don't work on my PC. It's back shit. Um, now Chrome is life, bro. I know it is. I downloaded I downloaded the Twitch extension for Chrome and it's changed my life. Like I can scroll over emotes in the chat and they come up big and, and, and show me like the uh the code for it and everything. It's fucking dope. It's, uh, did you ever download uh, <laughs> I can't use Google Chrome. It's uh, for some reason it just doesn't work. It does not work. It just takes a shit. It just says sorry, we've crashed. It's like <laughs> fuck you know. Uh Chopper's saying they've already added a battle round mode to GTA. Oh, I, really? I did not know that. Yo, what's up, Chop? I didn't know that. I haven't been on uh, GTA in a while, actually. Right, okay, so this is... Let me just switch screens. This is your gaming chart. So, currently, Far Cry 5 sits at the top. For some reason, FIFA 18 uh, is still there. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on Grand Theft Auto is still there. Uh, LW and TW. Is that this week, last week? Ah, yeah, this week, last week. So last week GTA was eighth, and this week it's gone back up to fourth. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's they're probably they probably released a new extension or something. Probably it's just gone. It's gone back up again. This game it just will not fall out the top ten. It's ridiculous. It's interesting to see Call of Duty is sixteenth. Uh, Doom's still up there. Crash Bandicoot is still up there. Rocket League that game was free and it's still being sold. Fallout Four that's interesting. I don't know if that's taken into consideration that it's on sale. But it must do. I mean, remember when I was talking about how, you know, God of War would lose its value over time because it's a single player in that? Yeah. It just proves now because even in the second hand in like computer exchange, Grand Theft Auto is still 25 quid. Yeah. And that's a six year old game, but that's value for money, dude. Yeah. Well, if you, you don't have to pay to play online, do you? You only have to play the, pay the game once. Pay for the game once and you've got all this shit that's coming out with it. Yeah. Uh, Spartan's asking him when did it come out. I never played GTA Online, but I played the game loads. Pirate, you need to get online. It's uh. Patton said, "Where's Pez on that list?" <laughs> yeah, but it only goes down to the top forty. He'll definitely be in the top uh, four hundred. Uh, it was called Motor Wars. Right, okay. But yeah, the fact that they keep on bringing new stuff out into that game just makes. Mm. Everyone still want to play it's it. Just, it's just a fun game with friends. You don't have to do anything. You can just run around being assholes. Like the most fun I've had on GTA recently was just going. Sh that's so dumb, dude. Just going shopping with my mates. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to the shop, right? Let's buy some. Ball I spent fifty grand on a fucking jacket. Oh. Like, ball out, boy. Let's go. <laughs> and then we're gonna play golf. Fuck it. The golf on that game is so good, though. It's really good, you know. Yeah, dude. It's really good For, to say it's not even like a main staple of the game. The mechanics actually really work on that. I was, I was surprised. But yeah, it's a. Uh, it is just one. Really, I can't delete it off my hard drive because I know as soon as I delete it, it's, I'm just gonna instantly regret. It. Yeah. Well, I just love it that much. Um, has anybody else got any talking points? Because this is like we didn't come in with a plan. For this no, one, it was literally just, just gonna be winging it, mate. We've gone through so much stuff. <laughs> we went from Battle Royale straight to Pro Clubs, back to Battle Royale. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> it did. Uh, got any pollen? Are you buying me a suit? Oh, yeah, yeah, basically, right? Because I was a CEO, yeah, and I brought him into my organization, but he was wearing like a sports jacket, and I was like, no fucking way. <laughs> I'm taking you shopping. I bought him some dope ass suit. Oh. So he had to wear gloves, obviously, because he's like my henchman. I thought he was. I thought he was getting married or something. Like he was gonna go buy him a <laughs> buy him a suit or something. I don't to know. be fair, if he was, I would be the bride, so he would need the suit. Yeah, that's a good show. Yeah, you are the bitch. Yeah. Uh, I have. I mean, have, is there anything that you want to talk about? I mean, I'm easy, me. I've like, it's um, just, it's just a fucking it, car crash. This show. I mean, <laughs> do you know what I mean? I love I'm it. Driving uh, it into the fucking ground. Uh, uh, Pollen said, talk about some competitive gaming. 
Oh, that's not a bad one actually. Yeah. How, what are you? What are your thoughts on the whole esports thing? I like it. It's it is super cheesy, but I like mm -hmm. it. I mean, I like like. Can you imagine? I, I've started like I never used to watch Doctor Disrespect stuff. Right, I just used to think, "Wow, oh, dickhead with the mullet." Yeah, no, and me that. too, dude. I'm not gonna lie, me too. I was like, dude, was I just... used to think like, "Oh, this guy's cringy as fuck." But yeah. the more I watched him, yeah, the more I thought, I'm obsessed with this shit, genius. mate. I'm obsessed with this shit, like the persona, the character, and everything. Like, but if he got to an esports event, would they allow him to be who he is? Like. Yeah, dude. Like he turned up to the like he's turned up to so many events and he's got the fucking headphones on me. <laughs> <laughs> My man was wearing a three piece suit, right? Waistcoat, everything, mullet, glasses, headset, all on. Mate, it's just, I just love it. Like, what genius come up it with is that? It's really smart because it's people ridiculous. think, ah, oh, this guy's a douchebag, but that's the whole point. Yeah, that's his persona. He's not like that in real life. Do you know what I mean? I, he doesn't I, go up to he doesn't go to his father and I'll be like firm handshakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. Yeah. It's just a persona, but it's genius. He's shouting to his he missus, bring the two time back to back world champion a cup of tea. He doesn't start doing that, does it? But I just fucking love his shit. Like he looks like this guy. Despicable me three. He looks like the villain in this. Like he proper made me piss when I seen it. Where is oh, it? Patton's Patton's talking about a YouTube video. Um, it's about skill gap in games and stuff like that, and, and competitive gaming. And that. It's actually a really good eye opener. It's, it base, it's based around the fighting game community, but it kind of applies to gaming in general. It's really good. I, I seen that. Did he post that on Twitter earlier? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. That I'm gonna get fucked, so I can't show that on stream. Um, this is the villain. Do, do you not think he looks like him? Minus the headphones. Let's have a look. I'll wait till it pops up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. He's got the yeah. suit and everything. Uh, I, I just think he's so... Dude, the way he uses his green screen and stuff as well... I've is... never seen anybody use green no, screen no, no, as well as he does. Changing. It's game changing. Like, I was watching the, his Radical Arts video and at the end he just pops into his garage and he's just like... Uh, <laughs> he's at the like, arena, isn't it? At the yeah. arena. He's like, you don't want this 6 foot 8 cheat code. You don't want this 37, <laughs> 37 inch vertical leap. I'm a cheat code. I'm just, and he just points to his like, you what you need to do? You need to get a garage. You need to get this 1990 Lamborghini Diablo. You need to put that in the game. <laughs> just like what is it he calls his moustache? Is it the poisonous caterpillar or something? Yeah. The poisonous Ethiopian caterpillar or some <laughs> shit. It's brilliant, man. It's so good. Oh, he is the perfect human to be an ambassador for Radical Heights. That game was made for him, man. Yeah, yeah, 100%. It is, yeah, 100%. But I just, everything about him, like, I said, I just fucking hated him when I first watched it. I was like, Jesus, this guy. And then, like... like he, he draws you in and you yeah. buy into the whole... Like, his stream has, like, a lore and a storyline. It's And you buy into that shit. You're like, fuck, I'm at the arena. <laughs> yeah. He's got, like, 40,000 views and it's like, there's 4 million people in it. Right? Like, yeah. There's, there was, I was watching a video last night and it's like, uh, Dr. Disrespect almost breaks his character and someone said something. Like, on it. in fact, I'm gonna play it. Fuck it. If I get a copyright strike, I get a fucking copyright he, strike. He, he, I've seen him out of character once, right? And someone was filming him at an event, and he was just hanging out with friends after like a, a Twitch meetup, or whatever. And he just said politely to the guy, "Yo, can you not put a camera on me, dude? Come on, man. Like, I'm I'm not working right now." And the guy was on and on and on putting a camera in his face. And he literally yeah. just stood up, and he's like, "Fucking massive." <laughs> yeah. He's, and he just said to the guy, "Get the camera out my fucking face." Right? And the guy was like, "Bottled it," and started crying. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna play this right. Someone says something in the chat, and you can just see his face. He does everything try to try and not laugh because I've I've never seen him break character before. He's fucking brilliant. <laughs> he wants to go so bad. He does. He just he, he tries to read it again. It just gets a <laughs> fucking <laughs> bottle of water. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. <laughs> just fucking rubbing his mustache, but he does that for ages and starts drinking a bottle of water. Mate, it's just fucking brilliant. Like, I love it. It's just everything about his stream. Like, I can't wait for him to go live later on because I'm 100% going to be watching that shit while I'm playing Radical Heights again. I fucking love it. Uh, is, that what he's, is that what he's been playing a lot mainly recently? No, he's put like two videos up. 
Um, but no, he's, he's just played his player unknown, don't know that's what he's meant for. Like, that's just all he plays. Uh, yeah. Do you know what? Fuck this. It's going back on again. Oh, I just fucking love it! <laughs> <laughs> well, I need to get into PC gaming, man. I'm not good with the whole combination. I don't know. I don't know where it is. Like, I just can't coordinate myself. I can't. I can coordinate my thumbs on a controller, but when it comes to keyboards, and that, I'm just fucking retarded, man. I had to change my mouse because I had like a wireless mouse, but it was only like some cheap Chinese shit. Like, don't work half as well as it should do. Um, but I've gone back to my normal wired mouse, and it's so much better. Like, as soon as I plugged it in, I ended up getting like six kill the next game. Like, it was just so much more accurate than it um, than my wireless one. So I've just gone back to that. Uh, but yeah, overall competitive game, and I just thought it was super cheesy. But at the end of the day, as long as it, as long as you're bringing in the personality as well as the person. Then that's that's fine because there's no point going to an event where it's all just like proper straight face and there's no emotion and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, we, we was at that event last year and um, we seen fucking uh, O'Neill yeah. doing a fucking lap around the the old building after the he scored. The event, yeah, he's showing some actual personality. Everyone else like like you're in the final, right? You're playing for two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, that's like a house, bro. Yeah. And you score in the 89th minute to go 3 1 up and offend, like potentially secure the game, and you're just there, like, bro. Like, I've been going fucking mad. Oh, I'm, mate, I've been ripping my shirt off. Yeah! Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> mate, I've been ripping my shirt off. I'm just spin action right now. <laughs> I just want 200k. Do what you want, I don't care. Exactly. But that, that's the thing with the esports thing. I just don't want it to be. Like on the football pitch and stuff like that, and off it, you get to see the personality of the player. Like there's some players that just constantly smile. Uh, there's some players that are just fucking miserable bastards. But you mm. get to know the personality while they're doing the job. Do you know what I mean? And if yeah. uh, with the esports thing, I think there's too many big characters that are out there that you want to see in these events, and you want to see them just let loose. I mean, there's there's characters in this pets community that go to these esports events, but you won't see them fucking not windmilling because that would just be. Indecent exposure, but do you know what I mean? Just like I, I just smile and just be normal. Do you know what I mean? It's don't don't be a robot kind of thing. Like if I went to an event, mate, I'd just be, I'd just be the biggest dick. I'd ask for Super Sonic to be played. I'd walk him with a Parker, as in being announced and stuff like that. I'd just be the <laughs> biggest dick that you've ever met. Just have like people are drinking water. I'd just have like a, a dark fruit on my desk or something like that. Do you know what I mean? I just one be, of them hats on with the beer cans. Yeah. The side, dude. Oh, just be the the biggest chav and scruff scally little bastard that you've ever met. Just because it would just be funny. People, I might get I might get knocked out first game. Do you know what I mean? But, yeah, but people I'm, are going to remember do you know, that. Do you know what it reminds me? Have you ever seen the film Eddie the Eagle? Yes. Where he's just he's like dog shit, but people love him because yeah. he's got a personality. That's it. Do you know what I mean? It, that's oh god, I'll just be the yeah, biggest I agree. dick. There needs, to be, there needs to be some more. I don't know. I don't know what it is though, man. I don't know if they're encouraged to not show any emotion or you know, like we, we're we're elite competitors. We don't get phased. I think that's what it is. They're trying to put on the, the act that they're not phased by the situation. Yeah. Well, why though? But be phased, man. Show people yeah. that you're being phased by it. Show people that you're excited about it. That's it. A pirate was there, and obviously he said that he what that game wasn't even being streamed, but he periscoped it. Like after Ed did that lap, that that kid, that Jose, like just broke down at his desk, just started crying. I was like, mate, why is it? Why isn't everybody else showing this kind of emotion? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I would love to be able to have the opportunity to be able to play for that kind of money. I'd shit myself. Don't get me wrong, I'll be brick at any sort of high pro, pre, uh, pressure situation like that. I'll be like my ass be falling out. Two hundred k, you mad? But yeah, it's just mint. Two hundred k, I'll be slipping eye drops in the other guy's drink. <laughs> just going all out. Dad knows what's going on, mate. But yeah, it's, I, I don't know. I, I like, I like, I don't watch enough of the other esports <laughs> events to you know get an inkling into what's going on and like who the big players are and stuff like that and what's to do, what's not to do, and things like that. I mean. But, in terms of esports, one that is pretty decent to watch, right? I'm not really in, into my Call of Duty much anymore, but Call of Duty esports can be quite good to watch because so much trash talk goes on. That's it. That's what you want. Because they're so close to each other yeah. on the main stage, right? And if they've secured the, if they know they're going to secure the win on like a hard point or something, like there's ten points to go and only eight seconds left or whatever, start they like put their pads down, they get up, and say, I'm in your fucking head, yeah. dude. And they're like, Yeah, bitch, he is in your fucking head. Look at you, scrub. Like you're propping it into it because they show. Like, it's a personality. Mate, oh god, I'd be just be throwing stress balls across the room and shit like that. I just bit. 
I said I'd just be an absolute villain. I'd just be the most hated person on that stage, but loved by everybody else that's off it. That's the, that's the guy that I want to be. Well, at, at Pesley, they had a free strike system. So you weren't allowed to, like, swear. You weren't allowed to be... Like, there was one point where um, in Dominator's team, Total Football, they were on stage, semi-finals. They scored the goal to pretty much secure their place in the final or whatever. And he, like, took his jacket off and threw it down because he was so hyped. <laughs> and he got, like, he got, like, a strike for it. Oh, like, man. Oh, no, we don't want to see that on stream. And it's like, well, this is why there's only 60 people watching it on stream, mate, because it's fucking boring. <sighs> We want to see that. I want to see him fucking just geeing up his team and getting on a mad hat. They like, pulled his jacket off, dashed on the floor. He had a captain's armband. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Man, that's that's the shit, game. man. That is the shit. Uh, like Patton saying, I'd be in their face for the games he even started. Any mental yeah, advantage, I'd be a prick. Out. Mate, I'd be like, I'd be Ric Flair and I'd be woo in all the yeah. way down. So, oh, he comes God. up to you, he's like, yo, have a good game, man. Good luck. And you're like, Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll be styling and profiling all the way to my seat. Oh, God, it'd be mint. Just uh, just be an absolute villain, man. Uh, Gears of War was the worst of trash talking. It's mad. I haven't seen any of the Gears of Did he even still do that shit? Gears of War tournaments and that. Um, I don't know, man. I've never really followed Gears of War. Nah. I only used to play it because I liked the hard mode and stuff like that, but I never got into it competitively. Uh, you see that game, you also had two strikers, so his brother right near the end, they couldn't show anything just in case. Oh, mate, do you know yeah. what I mean? The, the controversy is what makes people watch shit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, people want to watch it for their spectacle. Yeah. It's, that's the that's the point of, of the esports and bringing it to the big stage because it's a spectacle, you know? People don't really... I mean, some people might watch it for the elite plays or, yeah. you know, the top players, but most of the people are tuning in because they want to see some hype, they want to see some drama. Everyone loves fucking drama. Mm. I think it was starting a drama for... <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, so I don't know why they're, like reining them in like no you mustn't do that yeah it's it's because of sponsorship and that that's why maybe maybe yeah do you but you've probably absolutely bang on there but like you said like pattern saying there there is there would be nothing fucking better than slapping two steve weisers together (laughs) do you know what i mean that'd be unbelievable but yeah, it's just, uh, I, I like the concept of it. I like the fact that the, the the nerdiest of people have the opportunity to earn the big money doing something yeah. that they're actually good at. I love that. I love the fact that they can do that. But and they're treated like athletes. Like that's it. Signing, uh, they're and signing fucking rock stars. Like Man City. And yeah. They've got these esports guys that are under their wing now. And they're like athletes, dude. Well, most of the esports players in the football teams have actually have a registered number with the club and stuff like that, don't yeah. they? It's mad, dude. It's quality. Uh, I love the fact that they're bringing the they're giving the geeks a good run. I like that shit. Uh, the crazy thing about it is when the organisers think that they said they want us to show his emotion, but then you have to strike system if you de- yeah, if it's deemed too much. That uh, baffles my head. That. that that was funny. That baffles my head. Just show some emotion, man. Uh, it, it, sport it, games are emotional. Do you know what I mean? They, they can either have you fucking ball your eyes out. As well. Yeah, high profile, mate. You're going to lose your head, or you're going to start fucking crying your eyes out, or you're going to do a lap of the stadium, do you know what I mean? It's... Like, imagine you had two strikes already, yeah, and you're in the final paying for the 200 grand, and you've just scored the winner, but you're, you you want to you have to rein yourself in. Yeah. Like, fuck that, man, you no. want to let loose. Oh, yeah. I just say, win million. Win million, 100%, mate. Stab back! <laughs> There's a hurricane coming through! <laughs> uh, has anybody else got anything? Because I am... Slowly deteriorating second by um, second. Here. This has just been again. I apologise for anyone that's actually stuck around here because it's just been a fucking monstrosity of a I show. I think it's been good. Wait, I've been lit. Like if I didn't want, if I wanted to be a booby streamer and got my tits out now, you would see I am lit up like I've got fucking chicken pox or some shit. The amount of times I've been hit today, like bad. The last one we did because uh, it was it was a stag do that I've been on. Um, we did like this. We put the uh, we put a load of balloons on the stag and we had to ch- we had, he had to go and hide and we had to try and shoot him but he come out blazing mate he just got these like fucking oozes or whatever and just started spraying <laughs> anyone that come near him. I got fucking lit up man uh, hashtag Wenger out he's gone mate <clears throat> you only got it for another couple of seconds uh, seconds fucking hell games I told you it's downhill um, I haven't got anything have you got anything that you want to just go over uh, I think we pretty much covered you know we covered quite a lot. Mm. Well, the trends in trends in games and stuff. In terms it's of just been a lot of God, yeah. It's just been a lot of God of War, a lot of Pro yeah. Evo, a lot of Battle Royale, a lot of 
kind of what's in at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Usually, like I said, it'd just be one of them where you just go around and have a look at the news and that. But the news this week, I just if I'm having to scroll through four pages of news and it's all got of war, well, it's a slow news week. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So there's not much to talk about in that respect. But any oh, here we go. There's a question that's come through. How do you think games like Fortnite that are fun will free uh, and free will shape games that rape us for money like FIFA and PES? I think they might be looking over and saying, well. You know, why is Fortnite so successful at the moment? Is it so successful because it's free and they're just doing the whole cosmetic system, which is raking them in a mm. fuck ton of money, by the way. Um, so, th- yeah, there was, these AAA developers might be looking at it and be like, maybe that's the model to go down, you know, release a game for free and then chuck tons of, like, paid content at it as well. I would love to see money. the numbers between squads, duos and uh, solo like how many people are playing each, because I guarantee that the reason people are playing the Save the World on, uh, sorry, the Battle Royale on Fortnite is because they're playing with the friends. I I never play that game solo, apart from if I'm waiting to join a group and I just want to get a a quick game in while everyone else is playing. I never play that game. I only ever play solos to maybe do my Battle Pass challenges, but I find solos so... The, between solos, duos, and squads, the game is so different. Yeah. Like how it's played. Solos for me is just, I find it boring. It's too slow. Mm. Like, there's no, I just want to jump in with a squad or a duos and just fucking wreak havoc on guys, get blasted in the face by doing eight damage, showing up with it, getting angry and just restarting. That's the thing about yeah. Fortnite, right? I, I don't get angry at it. It doesn't stress me out. It doesn't piss me off. If I die, I'm like, ah, oh, shit, that guy rolled up on me. Oh, ah. Oh. What have I done eight damage? But then I load up another game instantly. Yeah. Whereas it, it doesn't phase you. If this, if this... I'm use Pez as an example again because that's what I play a lot. But mm. if that game starts shitting on me, or you know, it just I get frustrated winning in that game. It, it's just an instant rage in it, and then you switch off. It, and that's it. Then rage, and I hate it because I I love the game, but it just stresses me out so much. I can't play it that much anymore. Yeah, that, that's it. At yeah, the moment, it's at that stage where it's just a love and hate relationship. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it, I would love to see it because I can guarantee that the people playing that is because of playing with the friends. Yeah. And at the end of the day, if you're playing an online game, what's better than playing with your friends online? Yeah, co-op, co-op is huge, man. Yeah. Uh, favorite game of all time? I've covered this a million times, and I can't narrow it down to one game. If I was, it was going to be Resident Evil Two. Resident Evil, by any chance? Uh, <laughs> I don't think I've ever mentioned it. If I'm honest, <laughs> this is the first time I'm bringing it up. But yeah. It is. It's Resident Evil. Mine's gonna be uh, Leisure Sweet Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Actually banned from being streamed on Twitch, believe it or not. Really? Uh, uh, yes. No, mine's mine's probably uh, probably Last of Us. Yeah, that's a very yeah. very good choice. Uh, I think I think Last of Us kind of ch- it gave me a gaming experience that I haven't had in any other games before. So. Yeah, as you say, I think the games like that and like you're saying you're playing through God of War at the moment. That's I mean, like... God of War is is pushing towards that kind of section though. Because I'm all about like character development and story arcs and that, and it kind of does. A lot of us kind of did that better than any other game I played before. So yeah, well that's it. If you if you're playing it, I can't. Say, I think I'd be hard pushed to try and find a multiplayer game that I would consider to be in my top five games of all time. Or you know what? I'll even say top ten. I I'm a yeah. big story buff. If it, if the storyline's good, I'm gonna love it. If it's I think bad, the game I'll resonates with you more as well. If it's like it feels more personal. Yeah, an online game is just kind of because you have because you play so many online matches, they kind of you know there's very rarely that one special match that you remember. Mm-hmm. Whereas a story mode, you know, you can play the game and then five years later you still remember every aspect of it. Yeah, because it was a personal experience. There's a, there's a, there's one video that I've got saved on my Twitch as a highlight, and I haven't been able to get rid of it for because I just love watching it back. Like it was Pez 2016, and it was me and Barry doing uh, random fives game mode that we just. I'm, I'm sure it's been done by everybody at some point. But we didn't press triangle five times. Exactly. It's not yeah, a fucking yeah. hard concept, is it? <laughs> um, <clears throat> but we just play them games. We used to play it all the time, like 2006. You just pick, just go in three games, best of three, random fives. And the amount of laughs that like There was one point, I think it was like the second or third game, where I was some dog shit team and he was Paris Saint-Germain. And it, it was, he ended up scoring in like the last minute to make it four all. And I fucking jumped out of my chair and I'm like screaming, like, fucking get in there. It's like yeah. half one in the morning. The missus comes down. What are you doing? I go, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just look at the dog. Oh, I'm sorry. But like, that's the kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? I'm just proper 
that's the moment that I'm in for. Like, but that, I wouldn't have had that reaction if I was playing against someone from fucking Indonesia yeah, it's, it's or something. You're, you're exactly. Yeah. Um, I know the per- person that I'm playing against, and that's and you know he's on the other end going fuck. Yeah. Well, that's the beauty of it though, because it comes through in the audio. Is like that's a total bollocks. Because you say he just he just says bollocks all the time, um, but yeah, he's just like he's like look at the fucking state of that. This is such a bad fucking accent. Well, that's, that a solid, no, that's a solid barrier. That's a solid barrier. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just like it's one of the things. Ed's put Ed's put an essay in there. Um, said it ages ago. Cod video social interaction within games is deteriorating. Before you whether the chatting cod it was the main reason why it was so successful. But now Fortnite, you have to interact with other people. I personally feel that's the reason why Fortnite is so successful. I agree. Like we've got a Discord. We go in there. Is anybody on? Yeah. Go into the group. Okay. You go in there. Four man rolling in within about thirty seconds because they all want to squad up. Do you know what I mean? There's very there's not many games at the moment that you can say that with. If I was to put on Twitter, who wants a game of Pez? I'm fairly certain I'm going to have to wait about an hour for a reply. It's just one of them. Tiger said, did I cry at the last of us? Very nearly when a giraffe came along. <laughs> the giraffe bit got me, dude. I'm not going to say what I did. Uh, true, Ed. The only reason I'm playing the game is to use part of the interaction with the other squad, meaning you really don't have to engage everyone else to succeed to win. It's, it's, with that game, it's really weird because you could just be having a normal conversation. You go, East, 114, and then everyone will go, what? <laughs> and then they just roll yeah, yeah. to 114. It's like, it's mad. It's just... And everyone knows, all right, this conversation is on hold until we take these fuckers out. Yeah, yeah. And as soon as you blast them, you go, SAS mission. it's down, it's down, it's down. <laughs> it's like, all right, okay. So, it's... It, I, I, I do... I, I'm not going to say that I love that game. I can tolerate the game and I can play it with my friends, but... You can understand why it's... Yeah, of course you can, yeah. yeah, yeah the games like that you have to appreciate because we're at a time now where... Fortnite is doing the best of what everybody else is doing. That's like the yeah. pinnacle at the moment. That's at the height of uh, the the battle royale games. Everything else at the moment is kind of playing catch up. Considering Player Unknown was the I won't to say they were the first to come out with it, but they was the one that made the the genre big. Um, and I don't think the the play base. If I was to go on Steam now and have a look, the the ratings are just all been mixed because the amount of times that they tried to patch it and just fucking destroyed the game. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's just that I don't think it's the best experience, but if you want the best experience, everybody knows that you're playing Fortnite. As well, it's, it's on PlayStation, it's on PC, it's yeah, on exactly. P- Xbox. It's on mobile. It's on mobile. It's 100% at E3. It's going to get announced that it's coming to Switch. Um, that's my guess. Well, it's not my guess. I, I know that that's going to happen. Because um, why would they not? It's, if, do you know what I mean? If it's running on mobile, it's going to run on Switch. Uh, Precision saying that I'm live in Berlin. That's quite nice. Uh, H1Z1 started it. That is the game that I'm looking for. Um, I did actually play that the other day. I tried streaming it, but for some reason it runs fine on my PC, and then when I stream it, it looks like absolute shit. So I'm going to try and sort that out, but it's not being radical heights, so I'm not going to be in any rush. <laughs> uh, even if you're speaking to each other all part of Discord now, you can have uh, speech bubbles where you can request different things, resources. I think they're just covering every single ba- base when it comes to that game. Well, that's it- like as well if you're squadding up with random players. You know, because some people do enjoy squads more, but they don't have friends online, so they'll go into mm. a squad of randoms. They can always throw up a speech bubble saying, yo, give me ammo, and then he'll probably dab in your face and run away. <laughs> 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 At least they put the option in there. Yeah, well, th- th- with that game though, like, Pez for me was like, if I've got 10 15 minutes, I'm slapping that in, I'm having a game at Mass League, and I'm off. But with this at the moment, it's just one of them, the game mode's going to last like 20 minutes max, and that's if you get down to the final 4, 8, 12, whatever it is. Um, and then you've had, you feel like I played uh, one game while I was on my dinner last week with Cobra and uh, Spike and a few other, other people, literally jumped in. I said, right, I've got this game, and then I'm bouncing out, and it went in. Died instantly and just bounced straight back out again. But <laughs> <clears throat> it's just one of them. Uh, I'll give you a game of Pez now. Uh, uh, who said that? No, I can't see an invite there, so uh, I'll swear that one. Uh, <laughs> I'm, just, mate, I'm just so bad at this game at the moment that I just don't want to play anybody. I'm just, I smash my brother at it all the time, and I'm not even going to play him because of the current form that I'm in. He's going to slap me. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. We've probably gone over a lot more than I thought we was going to do, for being honest. I thought it we were just going to... considering there was, like, no plan. Yeah, that's it. I think that's what I'm going to do, you know. I'm going to go in raw and just, like, not have a plan. I do like the I do like the fallback of my news stories and stuff like that, but you, sometimes you've got to let the conversations flow, in it. Yeah. 
Uh, have you got anything that you want to say? Do you want to plug any of your shit? Do you want to talk about your streaming shit? Uh, do, um, whatever mate, you I want, streamed mate. in over a month. I want to know your status about your status updates. Uh, give me some statuses. I totally missed that. What did you say? <laughs> I said I want to know your status update about your streaming. Oh well, I'm I'm streaming again tomorrow. Yeah, man. Pez is Pez is gonna be back because everyone's been messing me like, yo, dude, stream some Pez, bro. I like God of War and I like Fortnite, but I need to see some of them silky goals. I'm like, no worries, coming. Nobody back. said that. It's <laughs> fuck, fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, I'll, I'll be streaming again regularly. I just had to take a month off, man. I was super burnt out. Yeah, it happens, man. Um, I don't. I don't think it was. I can't blame it all on Pez being burnt out. It's just streaming in general. I was doing six day weeks. Mm. I could never do of, that. Honest to God, yeah, I struggled to do like well. three. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I needed a bit of a break. But um, I'll be back tomorrow. Streaming some Pez should be fun. Probably Rage. I don't know how bad I'm gonna be. I haven't played it in so long. <laughs> should, be an, should be an experience. It's alright. I can blame the servers. Yeah, well, it's not Thursday, so that that excuse could be out the window. Nah, mate. I blame the servers regardless. <laughs> Always the far back. So obviously we you can find you can find Dave on Twitter uh, with his handle at it's David Fish. Very the very real simple. one as well, not that the, fake guy. Not the one with the capital L or whatever it is that came through. <laughs> Don't know what the fuck that is. That was that was bonkers. I've never seen anything like that. That was weird, dude. He was like, "I'm gonna drag your name through the gutter," and I was like, "Cool, mate." And then he got deleted. <sighs> so he deleted his account off of Twitter. It's just so west. Like I just can't be asked. It's just weird, dude. Like, I said to the guys, right, I said, if I found out my dad was, punch him up. Like, what are you doing, you fucking loser? That is fucking weird. Yeah. Um, so what I'm doing is, uh, very briefly, I'm just running through your social shit, uh, stalking and that. Oh, what I'm doing is, uh, very briefly, I'm just... Oh, God, I can hear my voice in the background. Oh, God, that's going to come through on the stream. Fucking car crash again. Right, so there's his so there's his social shit. You can go ahead and follow him if you didn't already know who he was. I'm fairly certain you all do. Although you've done it as one big ass long link, so it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, no, I no, I haven't. It's on two. It's on two lines. Oh, in the chat, it's one long line for me. Uh, West. Is it? It's fine. It's fine. Ah, oh, fuck it. We're yeah. good. We're good. I'm fairly certain people know who you are anyway, so I'm just gonna post them again. There you go. Thanks, man. But yeah. This has been episode eight. You are going to find this on Twitch, usually around six o'clock on on Sundays, depending on whether or not you know I've eaten and can be asked. Um, usually around six o'clock, I have a, try and have a new guest on every week. Uh, we used to talk about what's going on in pop culture, gaming, video games, more gaming, potential movies, whatever else is in the news that week. Um, you're going to find Barry's on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if, uh, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, you're going to find this on SoundCloud. Fucking hell, you threw me off then. I, that was sorry, like the bro, perfect sorry, outro, man. man. Sorry, you, fuck so sorry. you fuck me. You fuck me. We'll rewind. Um, you're going to find this on SoundCloud, iTunes, YouTube, and Video On Demand on Twitch. Uh, again, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on, mate. We've talked bollocks. It's, it's been a good laugh, do you know what I mean? Yeah, That's all you want. Um, but yeah, the, again, we've, we've been on for an hour and a half talking absolute bollocks. But until next, I don't even know who my next week's guest is going to be. Do you know what I mean? I, mate, I had this. I fucked you out. I'm so sorry, dude. <sighs> no, yeah, I'm just thinking now. Like usually, I have a schedule of people I'm going to have on. I say next week you'll find blah, and I've not even fucking done that. Then oh, it's just so bad. But yeah, guys, until next week, it's been an absolute pleasure, and I hope to see you then. <laughs>